Hi, Patty. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Elizabeth. How's everybody doing so far? I'm just trying to get my um, myself on Facebook. Okay, here we are. How's it? Don't want to hear myself, that's for sure. Okay. All right. Let me move things out of the way. show you a little bit of what we're using tonight and just let a few more join looks like we have a nice group going hi laura i just addressed a package with your name on it laura hi lynn and elizabeth a few of you on here i think tonight um Okay, let me introduce myself for those that might watch the replay later. And um, hi, Stacy. Thanks for sharing. Anybody who would like to share this video, please um, do so. And let me know that you shared big capital letters like Stacy did helps. Um, I'm going to go back to um, two cards, sharing and um, commenting. So you want to make sure that you share hopefully to a group that's crafters or your personal page. You never know who's out there that might like some crafting, paper crafting uh, tutorials. Um, thank you, Lynn. Um, sounds good to you, Laura. Yep, sounds good to me too. Hi, Sonia. And thank you again for sharing. Okay, it looks like we have a nice group. So my name is Antoinette Bay, um, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Limbrook, New York, and my little side business is called the paper papillion so thank you for being here uh, tonight we're going to use i was inspired last week by the card that carol sent me to use this stamp set and um this is the card that carol had sent and i'm inspired to use the stamp set because of that card and then i pulled out a, a card that i had made um which was a copy of someone else's using their colors and I don't know who so I wish I could give credit to who it was but I'm sure if you look up um, on Pinterest sending smiles I'm going to show you the card that I created that was based off of somebody else's creation so I'm creating it with different colors and using paper instead of uh, masks and things like that so we're there are going to be variations but the layout is the same hello Carol I just shared your your card. I'm not casing it exactly. I, I just am using the set. Um, I haven't gotten to where I'm going to case yours exactly yet because I am. Um, hi, Anne from Coulomb Beach, Australia. Oh, you're a big fan of mine. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's very nice to see you here from Australia. It must be morning hours there, early morning. Um, thanks for joining. Okay, let's get started. So as I mentioned, we're using Sending Smiles and the dies. We'll do some die, die uh, cutting tonight. Um, and then I'm using these opal rounds. They're the 2021-23 in-color opal rounds. And I loved every single one of these beautiful colors. And I'm sad to see them go. Um, but I'm going to use them tonight. I'm trying to get some use out of things that are going away. The... Um, Brick and mortar has, embossing folder has been around for a long time and I've used it quite a bit and I really like it, but it is going away. So if you want to get it, if it's on the last chance list and still available. The other thing I'm using is Rich Razzleberry, which is also going away. We will not have that color anymore. And um, hold on, I got to move this a little bit. It's kind of in my way. And then, and I also look a little crooked here. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it now. And then Fresh Freesia, which is um, an, one of those in colors that would have gone away, but it's making its way back into the color family since they've revamped the colors. And then Granny Apple Green, which is an, also another favorite of mine. So I'm just going to put all three of those back here for now. And I'm also using, which I haven't used in a while, the adhesive sheets tonight. So I will be... Um, using that showing you how to use that because I haven't used that in a long time 
So let's get some of this over here. And I think the thing that we should probably do is do the die cutting first and the embossing. So I'll bring the uh, Stampin' Cut emboss machine over and we'll do that first. So we'll die cut first. Okay. And what I'm going, oh, before we do that, let me just get, prepare the paper. So this is the Rich Razzleberry. And this is an adhesive sheet that I cut down and I'm going to adhere it to, I don't know if any of you have done this before, but they come on these big long sheets and I cut them down to the size that you need for the die that you're cutting. So these are the size, this is the size of the sheet that it comes in. And I'll put that over here. And then it's adhesive backed. So I'm going to try to get my fingernail to open the, I had a hard time when I did this. I got up very early this morning because I completely forgot that tonight was Facebook Live. Now I'm gonna, I'll tell you the story in a second. I'm gonna put this behind here. Okay, so the sticky, the sticky is on the back. So I gotta flip this over and take my die. So now the sticky is right behind here. Oh, wrong die, I'll show you that later. Where is it? I'm going to take this part. So the word sending, I've already, I must have die cut it for another project because it was already in the folder. So I already die cut this part. Now I'm going to die cut this part. And I'm going to sit it on here and the glue is behind. And now I'm going to bring over the die cutting machine. Hi, Kathleen. And Facebook user is Lois. Hello, Lois. I have to look to my right to see who that was um, because I still have that issue with um, not being able to see names here. Um, and now I am going to run this through a few times uh, just because it's going through cardstock and the adhesive sheet. And I'm going to run it through, a, well, back and forth twice, right? And now I'm going to flip it over too, because sometimes flipping it over and getting, well, this looks like it's pretty well cut. Um, I don't need to flip it over. That's pretty well cut. Okay. So that's garbage. Now, before we unpeel that, let's get the embossing done as well. I think those are the, well, we're going to need the stamp and cut and emboss machine again anyway because once we do the flowers and the leaves. So I'm just using the base plate. This is a dynamic die uh, folder, so it's thick. So we need just the base plate and the gray plate that goes over. And now we're cutting. So if anybody would like the measurements and um, directions for this pretty easy card, you could sign up for my uh, newsletter goes out tomorrow around five o'clock. I schedule it. So tonight I'll go finish it up and um, schedule that to go out about five o'clock tomorrow. And the reason I send it out at five o'clock is because sometimes if I'm home from work and I have some time um, to work on it, um, I forget the purpose. It just need. It's just so I have extra time on a on a Wednesday if I don't get to it on a Tuesday night. So like tomorrow, I have to get it done tonight because tomorrow I have to go to work. But if it was a Wednesday where I could stay home, I'd get up extra early. I'd write my tutorial, take my pictures because I I photograph this picture. But anyway, what I was saying earlier is that I woke up really extra early this morning because I realized when I went to bed last night that. I didn't have a card made for tonight. So I needed to make something really quick. And um, that's where the idea with the this kit, this um, bundle came in. Okay, so now I'm just taking it off of here because I remembered Car Carol's card from last week. And now we have this. 
And I'll peel off the back when we're ready to do that in a minute. Um, let's do some stamping. And I have scrap paper somewhere. Yep, right behind. So I'm just gonna use scrap paper here. And I have everything already on. So I'm using this big leaf right now. I have them on stamps. Patty says she loves this bundle. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm glad it's carrying over too into the new catalog, which is awesome. I'm really happy about that because I've used it a number of times, but I don't know that I've used it so much on, on my lives. Um, okay, so this is gonna get die cut, so I can just put that right there. And then I'm going to do two flowers. And I love the way the freesia and We'll use that again for the inside and the um, rich razzleberry look together. And so now I'm going to do this flower because I know it's hard to see. And we're also going to do this little flower. And on the inside, we're going to do this flower. Okay, so let's get in fresh freesia. I'm ordering tomorrow with uh, free shipping. Uh, since I'm a demonstrator, I'm pre-ordering from the new catalog and I'm waiting till tomorrow now that they've told us. I hadn't ordered things that I really need to get, like the in colors. I didn't know we were having a, um, they didn't give us any advance notice. Um, well, I didn't hear about it until yesterday. It went on, on uh, Stampin' Up's website for demonstrators. So when I found out, I told you guys, I don't like the way this one looks, so I'm going to do that again right up here um okay now i'm going to go with rich razzleberry for the centers so i am going to take advantage of that so i'm glad that i didn't get anything yet because i am totally taking advantage of free shipping tomorrow so i'm going to order all my in colors it's a little off and now i'm using the little the little one for in here I might as do might as well do both. Doesn't matter. I want to do this one again and see if I can cover a little bit more. Okay. Um, remind me to show you the card we did at assisted living last night. Um, when I was at assisted living last night. Okay. So now we have this and we have this. We're going to die cut these. Um. So yeah, got up extra early, made the sample, took the pictures. So now I can work on the, um, now I can work on the tutorial. So if you want it, you got to sign up for my email. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. That's why signing up for the email just, um, is just a little something extra that I do for people that watch me, that comment, that share and things like that. And people that purchase my kits and things like that. So it's just a little extra something. Um, let's see. The shipping is so slow, four to 12 days still. I'm just reading a note and I'll bet it will be more days with, oh yeah. Um, even though I, I think that there's, uh, I might have to like rush it. Um, I hate to do that. I, I don't normally, but I want to make up my May kit to go. And unless I have some of that new product that I can pre-order, well, actually I can't because what I really want, I'm not able to pre-order yet because we're very limited in what we can pre-order. So I may not rush it because when I get my new in colors, I'll start using them. Um, okay, let's get the dies for these flowers this one so i just finished my book oh gosh it took me so long for the book club so friday night is book club and um this friday i am hosting it and um that's because my kitchen we i wasn't sure if i could host it because my kitchen is supposed to get demoed soon but it's not ready yet so to be demoed until i think they're going to demo like first week of may so, um, since they're not demoing it and then I won't have a kitchen for a while, 
I am going to host book club. And we just finished, I just finished the, the, uh, what she left by behind by Ellen Marie Weissman. And it was really good. Um, it just gives you a little bit of insight about, um, um, uh, insane asylums in the 1920s. And it was, uh, based in the 1920s and, um, in the 19, in the 19, uh, nineties. And it was just an interesting story. I, I liked the ending. Um, it was good. So if anybody's in, look, wants a good book to a historical fiction book to read, um, that's a good one. I actually picked that one for book club this month. Um, I'm looking for something. Oh, scotch tape. I'm just going to hold this down with scotch tape. And then Friday night, we'll pick out the new one for, oh, I don't want scotch tape for this. Um, this is good. Let's see. So I don't know what we're going to read next, but in between, I've decided, um, I think I mentioned it last week, that I want to see that movie on Apple TV um, called uh, The Last Thing He Told Me. Jennifer Gardner stars in it, and I don't want to see the movie until I've read the book. And the book looks like it might be a really quick read. So I'm going to read that in between um, my next book club meeting, which will be in, we're in April. It will, will be in May. I think that's it with the die cutting. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put this away onto the side. Take this away. Let's see. Has anybody read? Just got my order today from April 1st. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, last week I thought my product order for my kit that is going out tomorrow, it is going out tomorrow because I just finished boxing everything right before I came live. Um, let me put this on the floor. There's too many things on my table. So last week I thought that I was getting my supplies, but it was actually my, um, catalogs that I was getting last week. So my order took about eight days to ship before it shipped. Um, so that's not great, but at least I got it. And my kit is going on out on time tomorrow. Everything's boxed. Everything's labeled. My husband is going to do me a favor since I have to go to work and drop everything off at the post office. So everybody that ordered should have them within three, two to uh, three by Friday, Saturday. Oh, this is not for this. This is for the um, inside. So by Friday, Saturday, anybody who ordered that kit, I'll show you the cards because the PDF will be ready tomorrow as well. So it will be um, going out the PDF for the April WOW kit to go will be ready and i'm just putting some finishing photos on on it so this is granny apple green i'm using a smaller leaf um somebody said something about my nail polish who is that julie oh thank you very much it's it's kind of like a gray i don't know I get in there and I, and I, I don't, I don't really know what to pick. So I'm using fresh freesia and it's already getting going cracked for the flower part. And I'm going to use rich razzleberry for the little center. Like that. Okay. So one can put the center in. Um, stay tuned to the end. I'm going to draw a prize for actually both of these cards tonight. I don't remember what I made last week. 
I ha have actually no idea. I can't recall what I made. I do have one card here. I'm going to call it at the end to see if maybe um, the person that won it, because I don't have the address, is watching tonight. And if not, next week that one will be drawn. Um, but tonight I'm going to give away both of these cards because honestly, I just can't for the life. Can anybody remember what I made last week? Because I have no idea. Okay, so this is going to go on the front. So um, it's going to cover the whole thing. This is the tea boutique paper that I've been using a lot of because I've, you know, I don't have a lot of paper left over from this annual catalog that's leaving. And I don't have any new stuff. I don't have any new paper yet. I have only a stamp set, which I'm going to show you, and dies. And so I don't have a lot of options. So, and besides, this is still current. So why not use it? I'm going to use it until it, it's dead. That's it. I'm going to use it till it's dead. Um, so I have my shopping code in there, and I'm going to continue the... Um, if you make your purchase, if you do decide to shop tomorrow during no shipping day, it's only for tomorrow, April 19th. If you do decide to shop with me, I'm going to continue. You have to use the host code that's in the description here. And, and that's a new host code. However, I'm going to continue with, um, you will get my, uh, stamp and friends tutorial. So that's 10 tutorials. Uh, 10 cards, one or nine cards, one scrapbook page, and uh, by 10 demonstrators, including myself. Okay, so this is where we use the brick and mortar. And then you'll, of course, get a thank you card from me. And then at the end of the month, and then you will also get uh, a variety of five handmade cards that I've created myself over the years. Um, which are fairly new um, product. The, some of this product has been in the catalog a couple of years. And so, you know, um, if you make your order with me, that's what you're going to get. I just shipped out five cards to one of the um, ladies that purchased um, my April kit. Uh, she placed an order and uh, one other person did last week with the old host code, but now it's a new host code with the same offer. Okay. So if you have any questions on that, you'll let me know. Okay. So here we have the brick and mortar that I uh, put on with dimensionals. It's like smoky slate, big backlog in South Pacific too. Oh, um, sat and pending for nine days before it got picked. Yeah, they were working on it. What I heard is that, I mean, they have stopped all meetings over there. They they just didn't expect, I guess, this um, again. Um, but they have stopped all meetings and um, I think was what I heard. And they are just getting everybody on the pick line to get these orders out. I think they've caught up. So now I'm going to use some mini dimensionals. I finally opened a new pack of mini dimensionals and I'm going to use them in these little small areas. And here we go, right here on the leaf. Yeah, I'm doing the best they can, I guess. Uh, Let's see. And now I'm going to cut a little. I want like a really thin for the stem here. So I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a little bit here. Nice and thin. I cut my stamps. I cut my dimensionals. I think I made it a little too thick though. I might have to cut a little bit more without cutting my finger, I hope. Okay surgery surgery on the dimensional let's see if that worked so i'm really liking that i've gone kind of got my setup going the lighting's pretty decent and this thing right here is what it is until i can figure that out but slowly but surely and now i'm directly across and it's not like a weird angle 
and um, so the setup's getting better. I brought out, like I said, a new ta another table, and instead of working at my desk and Facebook living at my desk, I almost forgot I have this. So let's put a dimensional liquid glue behind here. And I am going to show you the original. I just can't give credit to the person that I think I cut. It's so long ago. I think I copied it exactly. The original of this. And I, it's so long ago. I, I just really can't even remember. Um, and now I'm going to put that there. I am going to slip a little dimensional underneath there. Just to hold it steady. And so this one's going to go up here. Like that. And this one will go down here. Like that. And now this is where uh, I forgot one thing we have to stamp. We have to stamp a sentiment, another sentiment. <clears throat> hey, Jeanette. I was just saying I got my packages all ready to go tomorrow, just in time. My, believe it or not, I was think I'm so glad I was home today because my um, order for all the paper and the gems and the ribbon came today. And I was able to, um, during lunch, I was able to get it all cut up and packaged. So I was glad for that because, you know, with the delays in shipments, I don't know if you're a demonstrator, but with the delays in strip shipments, um, everything got delayed. Where's the stamp set? What did I do with it? Here it is. Um, and Jeanette, Last week, I don't know if you watched last week, but you were the big winner, just FYI, in your package when you receive it. You were the big winner for the drawing for all the people that uh, participated in the April WOW kit to go. I put everyone's name in a drawing and you won. And then a set of three cards, three or four, I can't remember. And then when I drew here for Facebook Live, you also won a card. So you are the big winner last week, Jeanette. Just FYI, in case you didn't see it. So on my original, I used love and big hugs. So here I'm going to say sending um, birthday wishes because we can always use that. Sending birthday wishes, but I can't find it. Oh no, where did it go? I guess I'm not. It's gotta be on my other desk somewhere, but let's do something else. Let's do um, a card to say hello or smiles across the miles. Now let's do a card to say hello. Um, Oh, they, nope, that's not it. I have no idea. It's got to be on my desk somewhere or on the floor. Um, oh, here it is. Birthday wishes. It's already on the block. I'm such a ding dong. I didn't use it earlier, so I, I, I didn't realize that I already had it on the block. Okay. Yeah, it's a fun kit. I, I, I really like the April kit a lot. It's a lot of punching and die cutting for me, but it's gonna be a lot of fun for you to put it together. It's just, it's just fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this down. I have one, by the way, I do have one left over. If there's anybody that wants the April kit, you have to email me. My email should be in the description. 
Um, I think we all, yes, Jeanette, we need to use this set more. I think we all need to use this set more. It's really pretty. I think it's just not getting enough love. Um, not by me anyway. Okay, so then we're going to do birthday wishes and we're going to cut that right in the middle as well. Okay, so on the inside, I forgot to put my little four inch strip, which I am going to do. It looks a little plain in there. So this is a half inch by four inch. All right, going right on the inside. I forgot to do that earlier. Okay, so now we're up to, now I have the sticky in the back and I'm gonna start with just peeling off a little section of it first before I peel off the whole thing and getting that right on the G, the solid, and just slowly working my way over. Oh, and Patty, if you're still on here, when my husband does me the favor and goes to the post office tomorrow, he is going to go to the post office and ask the woman that he usually deals with over there. Um, why? Because that, what I sent you came back, but meanwhile, the post office is the one that um, determined the postage that needed to be on that envelope. But yet it was returned for a shortage of postage. So it doesn't make sense because they're the ones that, that I didn't do that at home, they did. So it just doesn't make sense why they're returning it to me when they determined how much postage should be on it. Now, what I'm doing here, I saved this little dot for the eye and I'm just gonna put it right there. It's That's a little tough to get, but I saved it, I saw it and I saved it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on here and again, use some mini dimensional. So Patty, if you're still on, oh, good, you are. Um, <laughs> I know, crazy, right? Jeez, I, I, when I sent you the picture of it, I didn't notice why it was returned. And then I remembered my husband is the one that went to the post office for me. He does that a lot for me on Wednesdays when I have postage to go out because I go to the city and I don't, I'm not able to get to the post office. And um, so he, he, and he, like I said, he's friendly with the woman that he generally goes to where over where he works. And um, so he's just gonna ask her what the deal is. We'll get it out to you. We will get it out to you. They'll figure it out. Okay. These little ones are working out well. So we'll put this here. And then we'll put, um, I think the thin strips again, like I'd like to cut it here. Oh gosh. Okay, birthday. too long. Birthday and then we'll get a little bit more on the word wishes. And the PO is getting ready to raise postage to 66 cents in a couple of weeks. You know, I don't even really know what the price of a stamp is these days. Is that what it is? What is it, 65? Sending birthday wishes. 
And then I'm going to open up. I had an unopened because I don't have any more. I guess I use these the most. Those are the uh, Freesia ones. Let's move all this over because we're getting ready to finish up this card. Um, hold on one second. Um, wait one second. Don't go anywhere. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to add some splatter with a fresh freesia marker. I'm going to go easy because I went a little nutso on the um, sample. I'll put a little bit here. I didn't bring an envelope over, but I'll show you the original and I will do the envelope because like I said, I'm giving it, giving it away tonight. Uh, here we go. Where are the, here they are. Just looking for my tweezers. Um, so I'm going to put one up here, a smaller one around here and then another large one here i think these are so pretty and that is tonight's card very quick and simple so this is the original design oh let me show you the envelope with it so wait a second so i put the envelope i did a little splatter on the envelope and there's the flap right really pretty and here's the um, original where I did love and big hugs instead. So I went a little nuts with the splatter, but it's simple. It's cleaner here. So I'm going to give this away um, tonight. And then next week we'll start with the shares. And uh, there's some sort of a program um, where you'd have to go to my blog and enter your name. And I'm going to try to find out what that is because it's starting to get to be a lot to do this wheel thing. Um, and so then you'd have to just go to the, your my blog and enter your name. And I might have to have two for those that share it and those that comment. I don't know. I got to figure out how that works, but it's just one more thing on the list. And um, I don't know when I'll get to it. So for now, I'm still going to do this, but um, it, it is getting to be a lot sometimes. Um, so this is the one that I think I cased exactly from somebody. I don't know who. I have no idea. It was a long time ago. So let me bring it closer because the person used a... Um, I went to look at the back to see if my stamp was on it because I can't even remember making this. And I pulled it out of my stash today. So I have no idea. But I think I did. If anybody knows who created, who's the designer of this card, you can please drop a name. Um, okay, so this is, uh, so you notice the differences, okay? The layout is the same, right? Differences. I used a folder. Here we did not. I used paper in the background. Here we used a uh, mask. Colors are different. The layout is the same. And um, then the insides just, I don't know what the person did on the inside, but that's, you know. So I just love, I, because I'm not um, an artist or you don't have to be an artist, but I have no sense of color combinations and things like that. This one was pretty easy color combination. I just went on uh, Pinterest, but to see what looked nice with fresh freesia. Or I don't even think I did that. I think I just knew that freesia and the, Razzleberry would go nice, but, and it was going away. So, and then she used, you know, we used rhinestones here and we used the other things here, the um, opal rounds. So there you go. That's tonight's card. So I'm going to draw for a winner for this card at the end because I have no idea what I made last week. Did anybody know? Does anybody remember what I made last week? I have no idea. Okay. So... I just want to mention a couple of things before we get started. 
these items um, are on sale in the clearance rack. I saw them today. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. I've had it for a long time and I haven't gotten, you know, I haven't put it in BOGO or anything like that because I really liked it. And I noticed today it's in the clearance rack for $9.80. It has just for you, thank you, happy birthday. So last night I made, um, oh no, I made a card last night. It's at my other desk and I used the for you. Um, it's, I designed a card for the assisted living next time I go and I use that. And then this tag is in there too. I don't remember how much this is, but the stamps that I remember being $9 and 80 cents and this is on sale. And I just used this for something. And then I realized I saw it was in clearance. So I just wanted to mention that if you have any desire for either one of these, it's um, really a pretty uh, punch. Let me see if I have two inches. And this looks like two inches. Yep, that's perfect. Let's see. It's really pretty. It's a pretty punch. All right? So any desire. And then you can even like, you know, make it a label. Cut the other end. Stick it in. All right? If I could stick that in there. And there you have a nice label. And so you could slip some ribbon through and you have a really nice label. I just thought, it, I think it's a great punch. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it. I think it's great. And then here is what I got for, um, you did this. Oh yeah. The lemon, the, the grapefruit. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. I did, I did the grapefruit. Oh, I'm going to go get that card. I'm going to get it. That was a good one. I'll give this one away next week. Tonight, I'm going to go get the grapefruit, the citrus. So thank you for that. I will go get it. Um, and I'm going to go get it right now. I'm taking myself off video because my shirt's too tight. <laughs> Okay. And I even had it ready. So look at that. I had my card ready and everything. This is it. This is the one that was from last week. Oh my God. That was a lot of work. So thank you for telling me that. Okay. Um, this is the one item I did get from um, the new catalog coming out. Crafting with you. How adorable is that? Sewing machine, knitting, uh, basket. Um, an easel, a stamp and cut emboss machine. I mean, really? How cute is that? And then in here, there's like um, a paper cutter, scissors. I just made something today um, with this. And then all the dies. Now, I'm not a huge fan of all these little dies, but I am a huge fan of this whole set. I'm a huge fan. Love it. I can't wait to use it. But I'm waiting until like, you know, catalog is over the, the old one with things that I have. Okay. This will be the one that we draw. I want to show you what I made last night. This is this bag. So my friend Deborah is really the queen of sweet and simple. She just is like, boom, boom, let's get it done. And she's great. And this is a case of something she did. I think she did a Christmas bag and I use this paper and then I case somebody else too for the card. And this is the simple card that they made at assisted living last night. So I uh, added some texture with the timber um, and we have to keep it very simple at assisted living because they also need a lot of assistance, even with something as simple as this for us, more avid crafters, they need something where they're just going to slap some glue on and slap it on. So that's, that's it. Nothing fancy. Um, and, and this takes a while and there's only five or six, six of them last night. So, um, yeah. And I make two samples for the table, one on each end. And then this, I gifted them like every now and then, like I, I gift them, uh, something. So, um, that's what I gifted them was the bag. 
because I have so much of that paper that was like celebration paper. So I have so much of that paper that um, I wanted to share it with them. And then this is the card for the Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial that if you make a minimum $35 purchase, you always get uh, the tutorial with 10 tutorials in it. And this was my card this month. Very easy, simple, sweet card. And then these are the cards. Oh, Debbie Rickleton, you won this card a couple of weeks ago. And this is the last time I'm going to announce it. I do not have your address. Okay. So, um, and this is the card that I want to challenge with this card. Um, so Debbie Rickleton, if you happen to see this later, I need your address. Please send me an email. Okay. If you want that. And then if you want to become a part of Stampin' Up and enjoy um, a discount and enjoy uh, some friendships outside of the friendships that you may have um, without crafting or even with crafting, then, um, you know, get your own discount and uh, shop for yourself. And you can do that through me if you'd like. You can come on to Papillion Stampers and hang out with us over there and get a discount and enjoy that fun. And let's see, okay, ready for, so these are the cards for my April Wow Kit. The PDF will be ready tomorrow. So if there's anybody here watching now or later that would like to purchase the fifth PDF, um, my kits are going out the door tomorrow. They're all labeled and packaged up, but the PDF will go out the same day as the kits go out, which is tomorrow. So, um, I'm just putting some final touches on it before I actually schedule it to go out in the morning. Um, so this is the card number one. So I teach you how to do this flap in the videos and the PDF. And it has an envelope that's embossed. And then I teach you these cuts here. This is um, and the envelope. And I'm just doing this quick. And then this one again, I did a lot of advertising for this one, um, for these. So here's the envelope, the belly band and the card, which can be a pocket holder or not. And then the final is also a pocket if you'd like it or not. Okay. So I have one kit available, uh, 10 went out and I have one extra. Um, if someone wants to claim it, they can, they have to email me. It's $39. It's four cards. So two of them are wow cards and the other two are still kind of over the top. They're not just your simple cards. Um, and then I'm not going to spin the wheel the way I did last week because I lost sound and I don't want to do that again. So let's bring the wheel over. Um, oh, Patty, I see you said your favorite paper. What's your favorite paper? While I'm trying to find the wheel here. I feel like I did a lot of talking tonight. Um, where is the wheel? Hold on, patience, please. Okay, here's the wheel. Oh, dainty. You love that paper. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's really dainty. Okay, here we go for this card. And thank you so much for reminding me. Actually, this is the curry. I'm going to give away the one, the daffodil one, because everybody voted last week and the daffodil one. So, um, well, I'm going to leave it up to the person that wins. Do you want the curry or do you want the daffodil? The daffodil's over there. It's lighter. Okay. Here we go. The wheel is a spinning. Here we go. Kathleen Bardier, you are the winner. And I saw you here tonight. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kathleen Bardier. Um, you can decide if you want this citrus, uh, the the crushed curry, or if you want daffodil delight that I made last week. Um, so congratulations. 
Thank you everybody for being here as always and for your support, for your comments, your shares. And um, I will be back again next Tuesday. I was just thinking about this, that since January, I don't think I've missed a Tuesday. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So um, let's keep it going. And um, if you share, people will find me. Eventually, someday, they will find me. I hope so. Anyway, take care. I appreciate you all, as always. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of the week and a great weekend. We're going to get 80 degrees here on Friday, so it's going to get hot. And I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.